Six parts of oil are mixed with one part of water. When five liters of water are added to the mixture, the mixture is found to contain five times as much oil as water. How many liters of oil were there in the first mixture? So we have some mixture first, right? Mixture of what? Oil and water. Where six parts of oil are mixed with one part of water. So can I say oil is to water is equal to six is to one. This is the first mixture. To this five liters of water is added to this mixture. So we are adding water, pure water, right? Only water, 100% water. How much? Five liters. Initial quantity, let us assume it is two liters. When this is added, the mixture is found to contain five times as much oil as water. So upon adding water, we get the new mixture. Let's say this is O dash and W dash. Here it is found that oil is five times the water. That means the ratio is five is to one. What is the quantity? Q plus five. Quantity is Q plus five. Initial quantity Q liters. Then we added five liters. So final quantity will become Q plus five liters. So initial ratio was six is to one. You have added pure water, 100% water, zero oil, only water. The new ratio becomes five is to one. Now either go for allocation rule or simply balance the quantity of oil. Remember, the quantity of oil on the left hand side should be equal to quantity of oil on the right hand side. Or quantity of water on the left hand side should be equal to quantity of water on the right hand side. Based on that, you will be able to find out Q, which is the required answer. Right? So initial oil quantity is equal to final oil quantity. Right? Let us work on this. Now, how much is the oil initially on the on the left hand side? You see, see oil can be taken as six out of seven. You know the ratio, right? You know the ratio and you know the quantity. So initial oil will be six parts out of six plus one, seven parts into Q plus zero. Here there is no oil, zero equals to final oil is how much? Five parts out of five plus one, six parts into Q plus five. That's it. Solve for this and you'll get the value of Q. You're getting it? Six Q by seven plus zero equals to five by six times Q plus five. Total quantity is Q plus five. So six Q by seven minus five Q by six equals to uh, or, or let's let's not do fractions and all that. Let us cross multiply. So what do we get? I mean six Q by seven equals to five by six into Q plus five. Now, just do the next step, right? Cross multiply. So 6 into 6, 36 Q equals to 7 into 5, 35. So 35 Q plus 35 into 5, 175. So from this, what is Q? Q is 175. And that's your answer. 